The issue of kids and concussions is a hot topic. Schools nationwide are wrestling with the best ways to keep track of the number of concussions and how to help kids avoid them altogether. Judy Simpson reports this morning on a relatively new tool to help in the process. Some schools, like Colchester High School, conduct baseline concussion screening tests for each athlete at the beginning of the school year. It is not a state requirement. There is some debate over the accuracy of the computer-based tests, which is why some parents are opting to have their children tested independently. Uh, it's a big issue because you need to be able to make sure that your athletes can return to what they did before. And If you don't get a baseline test and they get a hit in the head, you don't know where they're starting from in terms of making a return to play decisions. So you need that to understand, are they back to a baseline or for us within 15% of their baseline so that they can actually be cleared to go back into sport. Transitions Physical Therapy uses a test that includes a review of symptoms, neurocognitive processing, and something called a neurophysical balance assessment using a machine called the Biodex Balance System. Athletes are tested with their eyes open and closed on a hard surface and on a piece of foam. Their balance numbers are recorded. Many schools use a computer program for baseline concussion testing. Fitzgerald says the balance test is important because it can't be faked. Hunter Poulin, a seventh grade soccer player, had a balanced baseline test in the summer before her season began. And during tryouts this fall, she sustained a concussion. And I went up to head the ball and another girl did too and we both collided heads. I got a little dizzy and my head started really bugging me and it was hurting and I ended up puking in my mouth so it wasn't the best. After several days of rest, doctors cleared Hunter to go back to playing soccer. The doctors, they told me to close my eyes, touch my nose. I passed that, it was fine. They said I remembered everything, so they thought I was fine, but I was still continuing to have major headaches. So um, Sean suggested that I come here and try to do my test again and see where I was. The balance test showed Hunter was not ready to go back on the field and was, in fact, getting worse. She was cleared for play through the computer test on 1114 by the trainers, but we retested her and she was still going on an upward climb of post-concussive kind of symptoms. So she came back down and she tested twice within norm on 11.16 and then again on 11.19, so we cleared her to play. And so again, it's just pretty concrete. It's like yes or no, this, this uh, athlete is ready to go back to, to training. The problem with concussions is that it is very hard to know exactly when the brain is healed. The state mandates that all coaches, trainers, and referees receive training on the signs of concussions. We're going to do the same test, don't move your feet. This balance test is now another tool available for athletes of all ages. Great, nice job. Now right, you get to step down. Judy Simpson, Channel 3 News, Essex Junction.